Peace, peace, peace. This is your humble hip-hop sales coach, Tiger Toledo, and you already know what it is, man. You're rocking with the best. You heard? So, uh, greetings, greetings, everybody. Happy Friday. You know, I hope you guys are uh, partying safe out here. Um, the weather is great out here in Chicago today. I uh, got my uh, new shirt I jacked for my wife. It says, I know, I know. I'm awesome. Let's not make a big deal about it, you know? So, um, I wanted to talk a little bit about how I was able to provide the wardrobe for a Waka Flock of Flame uh, video, which was called Snakes, Snake in the Grass, right? So, it all started with this, right? Uh, a lot of you guys remember the first show, uh, what was it called? The Love of Ray J right and there was this girl on there that was getting on the phone with a guy named Chicago Larry uh, Chicago Larry ain't rocking with me no more I don't know why I, I've been busy brother I've been busy man but um Chicago Larry um was on TV and he needed some assistance with some things so I offered to intern with for the Chicago Larry camp you know, basically do whatever I can. I had a job at the time, but, you know, I I wanted to break out and get my clothes out there. And I knew I couldn't do what the normal people were doing to get their closing line out there. I had to get in the mix, right? I had to get some celebrity endorsement. I had to uh, be at the right place at the right time. Uh, have my brand affiliated with certain people. I hope you guys are taking notes. I'm dropping jewels here. So, um, I started interning, and I met this real cool dude, man. Uh, one guy was Marcus Lee. He was the, he was one of the guys that was managing Chicago Larry. Um, I met my buddy Bobby Rockwell. I met some great people. And then I also met uh, number one stunner Reese, right? Now, number one stunner Reese was doing a lot of the filming because they were doing like they were gearing up to film a pilot because VH1 was considering giving Chicago Larry his own show right so he was doing him and Bobby were doing a lot of uh, the filming so I was I was there man I was willing to do whatever I had to do to help out the clan and at the same time they didn't mind me promoting, right so I, mean, I had a chance to meet a GLC. Shout out to GLC of good music, right? Um, a lot of people, man. A lot of good people. So, eventually, things didn't pan out the way they wanted to. That happens a lot in the in the music industry, television industry. So, everybody wound up going their own separate ways, right? But Reese kept going. He kept filming. He kept connecting. He kept promoting. He kept doing some phenomenal things, right? So I think it was about maybe a year and a half later, I get a, a phone call out of nowhere from Reese. He was like, hey, Tiger, you still doing your uh, closing line? I was like, yeah. He said, look, man, I got a great opportunity. I like the way you get down. I like the way you work. You helped out with a lot of the stuff that I had you know, going on on my own stuff, would you be interested in bringing some of your clothes to provide for this Waka Flock of Flame uh, video, Sneaks in the Grass? I was like, hell yeah! So, that's how I was able to provide gully wear clothes to that video. What the, the moral of the story is, if you want something bad enough, be willing to do and put yourself out there and do some things for free. You may have to uh, provide some free services to get your name out there, to get your brand out there. I had a chance to talk to my but my buddy Percy, and he said, uh, "Sorry about that. We got uh, interrupted with a phone call." But anyway, what I wanted to um, say, the moral of the story is this, man: if you want to get your brand out there, to get your dreams out there, to get out there. Sometimes you're going to have to put yourself in um, situations where you're offering free services, you know. You're going to have to put in some type of sweat equity. And I was saying that I, I had a chance to chop it up with my buddy Percy. He's, 
it looks like we're going to be doing some business out in New York. So uh, he's going to be my eyes and ears out there for the Trinity Tech. We're going to be recruiting and a lot of stuff like that. But um, one of the things that he explained that he wanted to do was open jazz club. So me as being a, you know, who knows? I could be a potential investor in this situation. So um, I said, well, do you have any experience in... And this is what I would uh, I would ask anybody this. Do you have any experience in the field that you're trying to get into, right? Um, if you don't have an, any, any experience, what I'll suggest is you find a way to get into that industry, right? And, and offer sweat equity and offer... Uh, to intern, learn the business, um, like like me. If I wanted to uh, learn how to how to promote a nightclub or open a jazz club, I would find a jazz club, right? And, and again, take notes, man. I'm I'm giving you guys a jewels here, some serious serious jewels, and it works. And every major promoter can tell you this that it works. What you do is you find out a nightclub or something that you're looking to, to promote, right? You find out what their slowest nights are, meaning it may be a Monday, it may be a Wednesday, their slowest nights. And you say, hey, look, give me this night. I'm going to promote this night so you can get your numbers up. Remember, everything is about sales, baby. It's all about sales. So... You tell them that, hey, look, I'm going to promote your slowest night to help you generate income. And at the same time, I'm building my brand. I'm going to be building my brand, building my name in the industry so people can know that I throw the bomb parties, right? For this jazz club, for this nightclub, for this techno club, whatever it is. So, boom, right? Hey, Michelle Murray. So, Play the role before the audition. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, um, go out to the nightclub, promote their slowest nights, right? Promote their slowest nights and rock it out. Now, what happens is you're gaining experience. You're finding out what it takes to bring in a crowd, what kind of music is, um, what kind of music is the most popular. You're finding out the best DJs. You're finding out, um, should you have any drink specials? You're finding out who you need to connect to, who you need to partner up with to bring in more of a crowd, different media channels that work, right? The, is Instagram bringing in more of a crowd than Facebook? Is Snapchat bringing more of a crowd than Twitter? So you have to, like, like Michelle Murray said, you got to audition before you take the role. So put yourself out there and work there for free. Work there for free. Gain that knowledge. Gain that experience. So when somebody, you never know when you're going to run into an investor. So if you say that, hey, look, I'm, I'm looking to uh, start a nightclub. And a person like me says, well, do you have any nightclub experience? And you tell me no. It's like, all right, well, I, need, I may need to back up on this. Or if you say, yeah, I promoted this nightclub, that nightclub, that nightclub. Here's my testimony. You can even call these guys. They're going to let you know what kind of promoter I can, uh, I am, I can, you know, pack out a nightclub of a thousand people. I have a list, right? I have an email list that I can reach out to people at the drop of a dime. I also, also offer uh, text messaging. So when we do have a special event, we can shoot out a mass text to people because people read the text much quicker than they read um, the emails, right? So texting is becoming a new email nowadays. So it, it, it's things like that that is going to propel you to the next level. Whatever you're trying to do, whether you're trying to um, become a beautician, a hairstylist, intern in these industries. Learn what you can from these industries. Be willing to put in sweat equity and understand the industry before you branch off. You may get, get into an industry and say, hey, I want to be a cook and go, go into the industry and be like, hell no, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't want to get into it. It's too much work. So this is your humble hip hop sales coach. If you like this video, send me likes, uh, you know, send a heart. I love those things. Um, follow me on a... Uh, I'm sorry, I'm drawing a blank right now. 
Follow me on YouTube. Uh, hit Gullyware Studios. Subscribe. Hit the post notification so you can get some notification of new videos. I got a lot. I got about like 78 videos on uh, YouTube right now. So rock with your boy. Drop a comment. Drop a sales uh, question. I'll be more than happy to answer it for you on one of these videos. And, you know, if you need to get in contact with me, we are hiring. We are doing a hiring event in Kansas City for quality assurance uh, inspectors. Give me a call. 312-999-8117. That's 312-999-8117. We're doing a massive hiring event. In Kansas City, Missouri, um, for quality assurance inspector. Holla at your boy.